Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a little different on video. We're not going to be focusing on any palettes or doing any makeup looks today. Um, we are going to be doing a haul. I don't know about you guys, but I love when people do videos about hauls. And the products that I'm going to show you, I've been accumulating over the past month or so. Most of them are from Sephora, and the other part is MAC. The first item that I got from Sephora is uh, from Philosophy. It's the Purity Made Simple Pore Extractor. And I've heard really good reviews about this. I've heard it's really great to get rid of those blackheads and just kind of renew those pores. So it comes in a package like this, and then you pull it open. And let's see... Okay, so it's not like the ones where you pull off. It looks like you massage it onto clean, dry skin, focusing mostly on your T-zone and oily areas, and you leave it on your skin for about five to 10 minutes, and then you wash it off. So it's for a deeper exfoliation, and they recommend to use it about two times per week. So I'm really excited to try this out, just to see if I can help these pores on my cheeks, and I have some on my nose, and basically my T-zone area. Uh, like it suggests to put on, so I'm pretty excited about it. So the next one is this Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream from Sunday Riley. I do just have a sample size that I've been using and really like it. I like how it's uh, water-based and so it's not a thick cream that just sits on your face overnight. I really like that it has hyaluronic acid and so that helps with your skin and get it, gets it re-energized. So I use this a lot, mostly in the mornings because it's not thick. So the next thing I got is the Beauty Blender. So this is the original Beauty Blender. I know that there's a lot of dupes out there. I also have the orange one from Real Techniques that you can just get from Ulta. That one works really well. I just prefer the original one. I feel like they're more fluffy, soft, and they put on the foundation a lot better. And so I just wanted to pick up another one. The next thing I got is a mini travel size of the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. I have not found a better brush cleaner out there. You can just use olive oil and dish soap to clean your brushes, and that works awesome too. I just feel like this one's faster, cleaner, gets the job done, it doesn't leave any residue or anything. So I just wanted a travel size to travel with me. The next thing I got is this Marc Jacobs Twinkle Pop Eye Stick. It's basically an eyeshadow in stick form, and it looks like this little bullet type thing. And it's a purplish holographic. It's really cooling to the touch. Once you put it on, it like cools your skin down. It's crazy. I think it'll be really awesome on your eyelid, especially if you have puffy eyes that day, to help cool it down with your eyeshadow. That's awesome. So I'm really excited to see how long it lasts, what it is, if it does last throughout the day, if it creases. Um, I'm excited to try it out. All right, let's move on to MAC. So I am new to MAC, honestly. I haven't, haven't purchased an item from them until I think it was last year I bought my first item and that was the eyeshadow primer and just because I had heard great reviews about it. So I'm pretty new to the company and so I did a lot of research. I, I watched a lot of videos just to see what people's favorites are and so I wanted to try it out and see what all the hype is about basically. So the first thing I got is just a brush. It's a fluffy brush. It's the famous 217 that a lot of beauty gurus talk about and use during their different tutorials. The next thing I got is the Coal Power Eye Pencil in Feline. It's basically a really dark eyeliner and it's not smudge proof. It definitely smudges, but that's what I wanted to create the smoky eye effect. You put it on basically as an eyeliner, but then you smoke it out with a brush and it creates that effect. And I'm really excited to try it out because then if you put a shimmer on top of it, it really pops that color out. So I'm excited to use it. The next thing that I got is just a luster lipstick in the color Capricious. So it is a nice mauvey brown color. I'm really excited to wear it in the fall. It should be really pretty. The next is a matte lipstick in the color Whirl. And this is the color that was made famous by Kylie Jenner. So this looks like Capricious in the two, but once you swatch it, you can see that the finishes are different. Capricious is a more lighter, almost glossy type of lipstick. You can almost put that on top of Whirl and it would be an awesome lip look. 
and Whirl is a matte finish, and so it's really rich in color, a lot of payoff. And the next thing that I got is a mascara, and it's the Upward Lash Mascara. I've heard that it gives your lashes a lot of volume and creates that curled effect. It also has a really little brush, and so you're able to get those bottom lashes really well. The next thing that I got is another luster lipstick, meaning that it's not going to be as pigmented, it can be kind of a lip topper onto a regular lipstick. And the color is patisserie. And it's this nice, nudie pink, almost with a brown tint to it. And yeah, it comes off really light, so that would be perfect with either a gloss on top of it for a light look or this on top of a darker lipstick. The next color I got is an, a matte lipstick. It is called Stone. It is a dark brown with a grayish undertone. It's really pretty and it's very neutral in a way that doesn't have any shine, it doesn't have any pop of color in it. It's just a very neutral brown gray. Next, I just got two lip pencils matching Whirl and Stone so that I can put this underneath them. The last two items, I got a paint pot in the color Groundwork. It's kind of a darker brown than the soft ochre that I already have. It's just going to be a nice base to put your eyeshadow on top of when you're doing a darker look. It'll be a good foundation for your eyes. So the next thing I got is a blush just in the pan and it is basically a burnt dark pink and I love it and it's called burnt pepper and it's just a nice pretty color and you can pair it with any color of eye look any lips it'll just add a nice soft color to your cheeks all right that is it for my little shopping haul if you like these types of videos give it a thumbs up uh, make sure to subscribe and comment on what you want to see in the next coming week on if you want to see a palette or a lip look or different things like that and thanks again for watching i hope you have an awesome day